Beauties, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. All right, so I'm just gonna do a quick review of the Jordana 2-in-1 foundations today. All right, I've been using these for years, and I, I was about to do my face just now to do a hair tutorial, and then I realized that I haven't done an actual review for this, so I just thought I would just use the opportunity to review this because it's a really, really good product, and I will give you guys all the details on the product, you know, throughout the video. So this is going to be like a talk through. I don't want it to be too long, I want it to be, you know, pretty quick. But just to give you guys some insight into the foundation if you're looking for something that is affordable and still bomb, okay? The foundation in Jamaica costs like 700 and something dollars if you get it in like the wholesale. Pharmacies will run up to like about a thousand something because them think they're cute. But it's actually 700 and something dollars if you go in like a regular place to try to get it. I am in between the 11 and the 12. The 11 is called Golden Toffee and the 12 is called Mahogany. Now, the Mahogany is a little bit too red for me, but I still mix it in with the 11 because it gives more of a melanin type of look. This is the darkest shade, number 12. I have pretty much all the shades because it's something that I use in my kit so I really do believe in it which is why I decided to do the review because a lot of persons sleep on cheap foundations, drugstore foundations, people sleep on them so minutes to the point, I figure that if a product is good like that's really all that there is to it so I'm going to review this for you, apply it, show you guys, you know, give you guys the tea, little tricks, what I do when I wear it and stuff like that so if you guys want to see this video, keep on watching. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And also, stay tuned to the end of the video so you guys can see, you know, how that looks. Hit the thumbs up button so that I know that you guys like these review kind of videos and I can review more products for you guys. Perfect. So as I mentioned, 12 is too dark, 11 is too light, so I'm going to just do like a little mix. And with this foundation guys, don't even trip, a little goes a long way, so it will last you a while. That's something that you don't lose on when you're using this foundation, especially if you're somebody who doesn't like to cake on product. This is a two-in-one, it's a concealer and a foundation, so it's dual purpose. Um, so that way you don't need a lot because a little definitely goes a long way. So let me show you guys something. This tube is from a number 12 that I had in my kit and it don't know. So when you squeeze it, nothing else comes out. So what I do is I just cut the tube so that I don't lose any product and I use the tube after I cut it. So I'm just going to take out some of this to mix in. And this is all the foundation I'll be using guys. I won't be using like a lot. And I'm just going to mix it together like this. Probably um, two parts, two parts of the 11 to like one part of the 12 gives me the shade that I want. And it varies. If I get darker, I use more of the 12. And if I get lighter, because you know sometimes you're not like the same shade all throughout. So I just mix it together like this. Alright, when it comes down to application, whatever you choose is your decision in terms of whether you choose a brush or a um, sponge. Some persons prefer the sponge, you know, the finish it gives, but with this I realize it really does not matter because of the it actually gives you this, I don't even know how to describe the finish. It's a very skin-like finish. If you use the foundation only, it will look like it's oily. So this is something that I like to do. You can use your primer, your Milk of Magnesia works well with this. If you guys want to see my video on the top three drugstore primers for um, 
darker skin tones and stuff i'm gonna have the link to that up top in the icard so check out that video it's very helpful and in the video i also show you guys how each primer wears all right so what i like to do before is just going with the powder like some loose powder your favorite powder is fine pressed powder it doesn't really matter and i just take some in my cap onto a fluffy foundation brush and before i put on my foundation i just like to dust some powder on my face so this kind of acts like a primer so to speak but it's not it just kind of helps to mattify the finished look and you don't have to overkill as long as there is like something in between the foundation on your face you're good all right so just a light layer of powder in terms of the shade that really doesn't matter but i've been doing the, the powder before foundation thing for a little bit and it works well especially with this foundation all right so once that's done i'm just going to apply the foundation and i just kind of go in stippling motions and this is the elf powder brush if you guys are wondering i love this brush so much just applying the product going to work that in can you guys see that skin this is by far one of my favorite 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 foundations if you're just starting out it's a good investment it lasts you a very long time because you don't need a lot and it definitely definitely worth the money it's underrated if you ask me very very natural looking it has a natural skin like finish i love that about it no cake look just it blends my blends even if you use a sponge it still blends very very well all right just like that easy peasy lemon squeezy all right um i do have a little left so i'm just going to save that in my little tube top here and send it down into the bottom of the tube and I can use that again the next time I'm not gonna waste anything okay all right so I'm gonna highlight my face I cut my LA girl pro because my not waste that night off so I'm just gonna apply that you know my normal highlight points in terms of compatibility with other products this um, foundation is also a winner because it's very very blendable like it doesn't really matter like what other products a lot of foundations don't play well with other products especially from other brands but this foundation i'm telling you man like it's it's fine everything is gucci just gonna blend that out this is the um bh cosmetics large blending brush one of my favorite blending um blending brushes especially for concealer and stuff i just want you guys to see how well this foundation works with other products which is why I'm showing you this part. So I might just skip out some of this because, you know, this is about the foundation, not really about any of the other products that I will be featuring in this video. Yeah, I'm gonna always go back in with my foundation brush and just press everything in so that it's all in one layer, one dimension. No lines of demarcation, not like that blend. And if you need to add more product in order to complete your blending process, go ahead and do that. Harsh lines are not cute. Yep, this is us. Once again, to set my highlights, I'm going to be using the Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. Now, something that I want to tell you guys about baking. You cannot bake with every single foundation that you use because some of them absorb more product when it goes on top than others. With this, because of the looseness of the formula, it, it doesn't really matter if you bake or not. So I can actually bake with this, but you guys know I don't really mess with that baking thing because it takes way too long. But I'm just going to apply the powder and it is literally just going to melt away. Literally just going to melt away into my skin right on top of this foundation i think it's because the formula of the foundation itself is so smooth it just sucks it up like sucks it up and sets it at the same time so 
you don't have to worry about that harsh look like it's just it blends you can literally <laughs> apply as much powder as you want and it is just going to blend right in going back in dusting away my excess powder and I'm gonna be using ginger although it fell out <laughs> ginger by Milani um, in the pressed powder com compact pressed powder I think that's what it's called I'm gonna just set my face with that all right guys set <laughs> I'm gonna contour, I'm not placing any focus on any of these other products that I'm, that I'm gonna be using. As I said, strictly for the purpose of showing you guys um, how the foundation, um, what do you call that now? How it interacts <laughs> with other products. You guys know I'm a powder contour kind of girl not really a big fan of cream contouring because it takes time to blend and all of that stuff so i'm just going to tap that with a little bit of blush this is not a makeup tutorial guys i promise uh, yeah yes baby and if you're wondering this blush is from the city color intense blush quad all right um, I'm just gonna highlight you know just gonna cl complete the look with a, a little highlighter I'm trying not to go overboard which might oh might be hard Oh, you see how that highlighter just sits on top of this? Oh, are y'all seeing this? <laughs> Stop it! The review for these brushes as well will be up top, guys, in the eye cards. Yeah, mm hmm. I'm going to highlight my brow bone. Yes, Jesus. Slay, 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 slay. Let me just quickly put something on my lips and I'll be right back. Alright guys, this is the finished look. I just added kind of like a little nude lip. Pinky nude, my favorite. This is like my go-to phase in terms of eyeshadow and lip combination. But once again, this video is really just to show you guys the work of the foundation. I will insert a clip that I made on Snapchat just now to show you guys like a close-up of how it really looks. God, I love this foundation so much. So, of course, if you guys have any comments, um, drop them below. Read the foundation. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have tried the foundation before. Tell me down below. The details on my hair will also be linked up top in the eye cards. This is a wig that I reviewed months ago for you guys. I just kind of threw something on because I'm going to do another wig video right now. So, I'm probably going to have to change um, this outfit. You guys know how I feel about posting in the same stuff all the time. But, um... Yeah, this is the look. Everything comes through. Like, it just feels set on my face. Like, set, not like uncomfortable, but just firm. Like, it just feels there. Um, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something. Um, yeah, it's just a really good foundation. I have it in my kit. 
So on the professional side of things, I also use it because it's very good in terms of coverage. It's very good. It, it's very good in terms of affordability. So once again, as I said, if you're a beginner, it's a perfect, perfect, perfect investment because you don't have to break the bank to start. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, definitely won't be taking it out of my kit anytime soon. I am yet to find a problem with this. And as I said, I've been using it for years. The only thing is when you put it on, it looks oily to some persons. But once you set it, it's fine. Um, and you can try the powder underneath to make it, you know, a little bit more matte. But that's it. This is my go-to foundation. Like, go-to, go-to. 12 is the darkest shade and 12 can fit like a really, really dark-skinned person. Um, but yeah, guys. Again, thumbs up the video. Follow my social media sites. Everything will be linked down in the description bar. And we can just have a chat about the foundation down there, alright? Thanks again, guys, for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Until next time, stay naturally beautiful. Bye. Mwah.